Hi, Nancy Spears with Peter Magnuson of Google, who's the engineering director at Google. Hi, Peter, how are you? Hi, I'm good, nice to meet you. You too, thank you so much. So you have a big job over at Google. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps me and, busy. Uh, and right now you are responsible for um, the Google Cloud, pretty much. Well, for, for parts of it. Um, so I work in the product area of, of Cloud Platform, and as of uh, about, a, about two years ago, we've, we've been started working to put a lot of Google products and technologies available in a, in a uniform platform for third party developers and innovators and entrepreneurs to build on. Um, I work on a number of things there. Uh, most visibly externally, I'm, I'm overall responsible for Google App Engine, which is Google's uh, platform as a service. Mm -hmm. So pretty much everything's in the cloud. That's <laughs> it, it's, it's either in the cloud or it's on the way to the cloud, the yes, way, yeah. pretty fast. How about, so can you give us some ideas on trends um, in terms of where um, specific industries are really maximizing potential through the cloud? Well, well, sure. I mean, a number of them are not very very surprising or you will have heard about. There's the whole mobile trend yeah. and the whole uh, smartphone trend. And that's actually going quicker than, than anybody had expected. So the numbers on yeah, people doing searches on, on mobile versus desktop, the amount of uh, web browsing on mobile versus desktop, um, you know, if you add up smartphones and tablets, the, the amount of uh, uh, human activity on the internet is now dominated by, by mobile. And all the, you know, uh, all the development is very oriented towards that. So, and that coincides with the development of, of cloud computing. So, um, uh, Google App Engine, which is, the, which is the Google, uh, Google's platform as a service, we have hundreds of thousands of, of, of active applications, and by one, by one estimate um, that we, we announced uh, last year at Google I.O. of all the active uh, internet addresses that are active in any given week, a majority of them touch our platform um, at some point. Wow. What that means is that if you're talking, what that probably means is that if you look at the all, the all the participation of South by Southwest, people who have smartphones here, most of them probably have an application running on it that has some part of the system on on, on Google's App Engine. So it's, it's it's one of the there's a, there's Amazon, there's us, there's Microsoft, there's a few others, but we're sort of building the 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 big engines that. Uh, hundreds of thousands of applications are using as their backend stuff and really making it, really lowering the barrier. I mean, the barrier to entry into computing got lowered a lot by, by personal computing and then it got lowered even more by the internet and you think you couldn't lower it even further but now with cloud computing, the barriers to entry are, are going ridiculously down. So you can be at just a small team of people and you can build an application or a service and you can roll it out into the universe and, and not have to make big capital investments. You don't have to go and raise lots of money. You don't have to take as much risk and, and, and build a storefront or build a factory. You just pay for what you use and as your business takes off, you're paying us more but you're making more. So it's, 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 it's contributing to the acceleration of, of app development, of, of uh, leveraging uh, information technology, and it's, and it's short, it's, 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 it's reducing the digital divide as well, which making it uh, easier for uh, individuals and countries and societies with less access to capital, less la access to computing, to be on a level playing, pl playing field of innovation. Yeah, it's truly the game changer because when you talk about access and the opportunity to, to build your own business, become an entrepreneur, you know, build your dream, uh, change the world, it's, it's massive. Um, so what's the next goal? Oh dear. Well, we're, I'm I'm completely focused on um, what keeps me awake is making our systems more stable, more easy to use, better performance, lower total cost for the customer, um, all those good things. Um, we don't make public numbers about our, our growth rate, but it's very high. We're we're, we're growing very fast, <laughs> um, and you know most of what we're hearing from customers is. They want, they want more of the same. They want things to work better. Uh, they want us to iron out reliability issues. They want uh, better features. They want, they want more, and we're busy, we're busy serving that up. The next two years, I think, are going to see, for example, one of the big trends is, I think, over the next two years, we're going to see more or less emerging of what, what developers call platform as a service versus infrastructure as a service. And you're going to start seeing pretty unified development platform and one-stop shops. Uh, Google will be one of them. There'll be a few others, one-stop shops that you can go to as a developer, no matter what you want to build uh, in, in, in IT, and you can get everything there. 
So people do, they do like simplicity. They, um, they like simplicity. Yeah. Um, and they like, um, they like only having to, to, to go to one vendor. There's a lot of value in just, just give me everything I need and Absolutely. I need these six things. And most people need the same things. So if you, if you put together the 50 things that most people want and do it well, then, th then that's what they want. Well, I wish you all the best with that. Obviously, you'll be successful. Uh, Google has changed lives. Uh, it's kind of almost ubiquitous at this stage, and uh, I can't even ma imagine my life without Google, and I'm sure everyone I, in this I room know, can't right? either. <laughs> it's crazy. So, um, so Peter Magnuson, so nice to meet you. And Likewise. for more with Peter, you can uh, check him out on genconnect.com. Thanks, Peter.